thing to be taken away. And so what you've seen going on is a higher level, higher level brainwashing to get us to continue to fight each other when we have much more in common regardless of our skin color. God never wanted us to get into skin color. There is no such thing in the Bible as a black man, the color black and white in terms of defining the human race. We are all human beings. Yes, some of us have different texture of our skin, but we have the same, we bleed the same color, red blood. So what is what really needs to happen, going back to Remy's point, we have got to sit down and face. Same thing I was talking to BB about when I was saying with the thing. I face the, the reality of things now. We have got to sit down in this nation and face the reality that, yes, we have oppressed people. Yes, first of all, uh, just, just a lesson for Remy Kyle and UBB, don't ever call yourself minority. That is a man-made system that has been created and you're not a minority, BB. You're not a minority, Remini. You're not a minority, Kyle. And I'm not a minority. We are equal. And that is where the problem lies because you've had one class of people that have come over and in their minds they have brainwashed people that we're the superior race and everybody else that is not the same race or skin color or minority. No, that's a lie from the devil. We are all equal human beings. God loves all of us, regardless of the skin color. And that's where the problem starts, and that's where the dialogue needs to start. You should treat all people equal. You should love all people. I did not start working with B.B. and worry about that he was Asian because I met his mother, and his mother was so kind to me and so nice to me, and she told me about her son and what he's trying to do. And because his mother was so kind and so sweet to me, I said, give me your son's number. And now B.B., regardless of his skin color, is like my son. I send him texts all the time telling him how much I love him, how he's doing in school. It does not, it does not matter to me that I am brown-skinned and he's you know, the skin that color he is. And if more people would start sitting down, like Remy stated, and having discussions, you will find out that we have more in common than we do in differences. Most people want to have a successful career to take care of their family. Most people want to have fun so they can send their kids to college. Most people want to be able to travel together. Most people want to make sure their parents are okay. We have much more in common than all of this fighting that we have over skin color and all of this racism that is about to divide and destroy our country. So I'm just praying that this spirit of strife, some kind of way, that we can all come together and sit down and say, we got some things we got to address. It may be harsh for you to face and deal with, you know, but we want to get them together so that we can be together. Because there is an enemy. There is an enemy across the shores that's got the United States' eyes as a target. And when it comes time to military and to battle, Black or white, they don't see no skin color. They're out there fighting for our freedoms and our civil liberties to protect this nation. Right. And that's what we need to remember, that we have more in common than we do in difference and learn how to love and protect one another instead of all of this strife. Well said, guys. Well said. And I'm just going to end this commentary. In my opinion, nothing ever gets... You will never see a change in this world. And you looked at what uh, back when Gandhi was protesting in India and what Dr. King was protesting here in America and the way they went about the nonviolent protest. um, it, It led about some difficult dialogue, like you said, professor and Remy and, and it led about some change in in the positive manner where we can be on the air talking about this freely at this particular time. You know, um, if we didn't have certain people taking the initiative to be able to stand up and to be able to say there's a legitimate problem still, still that exists 
here in the United States of America. And until we address some of these issues, the racial issue especially, we need to really understand if we're going to be united and standing up and cheering for the uh, the New Orleans Saints on Sundays or where whenever they play, and we've got to be able to say, I can still live with you as a brother, as a sister, without feeling discriminated, without feeling pressured from um, authorities because of the difference in my skin tone or what my skin tone may represent in your opinion. We have to figure out and understand that we cannot allow sin and we can't allow discrimination to start dictating how we need to treat one another. And we've got to treat one another with respect. And there are legitimate issues that have to be addressed. All right, guys. Um, I appreciate you. You guys being honest, BB, I appreciate you uh, being able to articulate how you feel as well as you, Remy and professor guys. Um, I don't want to go into predictions, but we got to do it. All right, Remy, how do you see the game on Sunday winding up for the Saints? Um, before I go into my prediction, I want to say, you know, I understand that Mike the Tiger was euthanized yesterday. That's an end of an era for us LSU fans. Um, I don't know if he'll be replaced, but um, that's the end of Mike the Tiger for, you know, at the games at LSU, at least for now. Um, and that's not a good thing. You know, I know a lot of us are going to miss Mike in the, in the stadium and whatnot, but anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the game, yeah, it will be a two point game. I can't say whether we're going to win it or lose it. I can only base it on what I've been seeing from both teams so far this season and whichever team wins will win by two points. Okay. Excellent. And, <laughs> What about you, BB? Okay, you must have dropped. What about you, Professor? I'm going to say that the Saints um, show up for once at home. I can't give you a score, but um, I think they can find a way to beat the Panthers, which can give them some momentum. To give them some nice momentum and um, some kind of way they find a way to win this game. I don't have a score, but they find a way to win this game. Okay, good, good. And I as well believe the Saints will come out. I think it might be more than a three to four point type of uh, effort from the Saints and look for Michael Thomas as well as uh, Will Lutz to have an important part of what's going to happen with this game. All right, guys, uh, if you want to, don't forget to go to Spreaker.com uh, forward slash uh, user slash Saints News to be able to listen to all of our podcasts there. We're doing some transition with the Saints News Radio um, dot com site at this time. Or you can listen to the podcast at saintsnews.net forward slash live stream. Also, uh, you can follow Shanika Dabney, who was on at the beginning of the podcast. She's on NFL Total Access. She's the senior producer. You can follow her and uh, go to NFL.com's website, and you can be able to uh, ask her any questions about making it in the NFL broadcasting sector. And uh, she's had just a great story. So if you have a chance to be able to listen to her uh, story with us, please do so. I mean, she's a Ben Franklin grad. She graduated from Loyola university and now she is in California as the senior producer of NFL total access. Awesome. Awesome story. Awesome to have uh, one New Orleanian representing. And she said this was really good. Uh, you guys missed this, Remy and Professor. She said she was at the San Diego game. The Who represented. 
in full effect. She said she believed they had more who that's there than Charger fans. And yeah, that's what I heard. I heard that. Yeah, and, and she said we and it's almost like we willed them <laughs> to a win. And uh we were <laughs> disruptive when it came down to uh the San Diego offense being out on the field, the who dats were disruptive to Phil uh Rivers and those guys. So uh, th- that's pretty good to hear, man. So we traveled well. So we yep. really do appreciate her being on the air with us again. Uh, you know, if you don't know her, she goes by Nola chick and you can also, uh, follow her on her b- blog. I think she still writes for chicks in the huddle.com. Okay. All right. Rim, how you doing, bro? You all right? Remy. Yeah. Hey KT, I just okay. want to add as you close out your as you end that discussion tonight. That is that that is just ironic because the alarming news is tied into the Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton on this very subject, and it is very deep. To all the listeners, you guys need to go to infowars.com or drudgereport.com. It is the top story in breaking news. This video that has come out and it does exactly with blacks and whites. It is it is astonishing. That's all I can tell y'all. Go out there and to all the listeners, please begin to read. Begin to read and do not just let the mainstream T V be your only way of finding out what's really going on. Because things are gonna get very, very, very interesting um, with the revelation and the revealing of all of this stuff that is coming out, it's, it's, things are going to get very dark in this in this presidential election between these two candidates. Okay, all right, guys. Um, don't forget to go to www.saintsnews.net to check up on all the latest of Saints News twenty four seven. You can also follow us on Spreaker dot com. Uh, forward slash user forward slash saints news to follow up on all of our podcasts and or you can download our app on google play and uh, you can download it it's called the saints news radio network app it's been on the, the board for the past four years and we are still rated very high so Get the latest of Saints news right there on the app from our website as well as all of our podcasts. You can listen to them right through the app. All right, guys, uh, don't forget, Professor, are you having a show this weekend? Uh, no, I'll be in Los Angeles, so I will catch everyone next week. I'll be gone to LA. Okay. You going to see the Rams? <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. I'm not not, going to fool with them Rams (laughs) (laughs) Okay Rim man you have a good one I may be in uh, NOLA this weekend So if I have a chance I'll try to hit you up See if I could uh, hang out with you And uh, Sharita And uh, Diva I know you're down but don't be out I hope you get better Feel better as well as uh, Mother Hen as well She's not feeling too well, so we're praying for her, and we're praying for our brothers and sisters in the Carolinas as well as uh, Florida who had a lot of damage due to Hurricane uh, Matthew. This is Kyle T. Mosley of St. And our brothers and brothers and sisters in Haiti as well as Dominican Republic as well. That's right. Yeah, it's been a death storm with the devastation. Yeah, yeah. Um, over a thousand lives were lost in Haiti, and um, we're just praying for those families. I, I read today how many of these mass graves are being dug for bodies, and they don't know who some of the people are, and they just they're just. Uh, Bearing their bodies, so we're we're praying for those souls as well. All right, Kyle T. Mosley, Saints News Radio Network. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Rim. Thank you, Brendan, and especially thank you, Nola Chick, for being with us uh, on tonight. And you guys have a great weekend. Take care. We are out. 
Extra value and cost.